Hey, welcome back to Seashell Golf. This is a three-hole challenge between me and Mark V from Oakberry out at Tradition Course at Cypresswood Golf Club in Houston. Uh, I'm going straight up. I'm giving him four strokes for three-hole starting here on number 16. You got trouble right off the tee, a decent landing zone, but trouble all the way down the left side. It falls off hard around the green to the left and rises all the way back up to the bunker there on the right. A uh, lot of elevation change all the way on this hole. So this one he starts off down the left side with a little draw. You never know over there, there's a little washout, but there's a little room as well, so gotta go find it. I hit a pretty good little draw here, but had a little more draw than I wanted on it, or a little, you know, could have started a little higher down that right side to give me a better look here. We were able to find Mark's ball in that washout that I mentioned. He advanced it from there and it rolled pretty good. Got a few extra yards out of it. So this is his approach, which he draws a little bit more than he'd like. Down there in that low part I was talking about, left of the green, it's a tricky, tricky spot down there. I lead this one out to the right, trying to make sure I don't do what he did. But there's a lot of elevation change over there as well, which is a, usually a hard lie anywhere you are over there. Um, so Mark's down there, you can see he's well below the green. Uh, not bad from down there just to get it on the same level as the flag. You can't tell from this vantage point, but it's a severe downhill lie running away from me here. I'm really practicing a choppy shot here, try to put some zip on this ball. And I do, despite Paul's doubting me. What was that, Paul? <laughs> I've been practicing my short game, so the confidence has been building around the green again. I hit several of those shots in that round. Uh, still got work to do, but it's definitely improving. Mark gets a little bit better feel here. Gets that one going towards the hole. Not sure how long this one is, 12, 13, 15 feet, but it's right down a little slope here. And as our playing partner refers to it, it's a little greasy. Lip that one out. I had so many lip putts on this day. Uh, couple here in a row unfortunately that's a three putt double pick that one up marks lining up his putt here it's a fairly straight putt on this side going back at the hole and this being late in the round I think he was starting to figure the putter out a little bit had several good strokes in a row has a great routine take note of the routine everyone And a, a good putt, but for a double also. But he does have four strokes overall to take off the end. Next up is hole 17. It's a short par four, drivable from both tee boxes. This is an alternate set of tee boxes with a look over the water. But today's boxes are over here on the left, going over the fairway the whole way down. A little bit less intimidating look, but I think it baits people into thinking it's an easy shot. There's a lot of safe layups here, easy irons, leave you 100, 150 yards in, dead right, dead long left. There's just a little pathway if you're gonna carry something, you see you gotta land it over those bunkers, run it up in that 20 yard or less wide lip. Again, dead right there next to the green, it falls off hard, dead behind, it falls off hard. And uh, you have to tune back in next time to see how that one goes. Good shot, dude. 